Well, hey everyone, it's the Drunken Otaku here, and today I'm reacting to the Princess Principal Episode 8. I normally do these on Sunday, but I end up having friends over, and I wasn't able to get anything done. <laughs> uh, but you know how it goes. But we're going to start this off here in 3, 2, 1. Spy rings in the London wall. <sighs> no, it's not. <sighs> that kind of shit always pisses me off. Ripper Dipper, case 20. Okay. That's true. Yeah, she would. <laughs> She needs to get better at that. Yes, yes it would. <laughs> Thank you. 
I always like seeing the inter interactions. I would be bored to tears at during stakeouts. Yeah. <laughs> the princess in the pickpocket. Finally gonna get their backstory. So I thought she was originally a body double, but I guess I was wrong on that one.
Damn. <laughs> Oh, nice job. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's cold in here. Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Shit. But she saw how the world, how it really was. Oh, fuck. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy fucking shit. She incorporated her dream into becoming her own.
<laughs> I'm not good enough. <laughs> that was a really good episode. Like, you know... When you read the letter from episode two, you knew the story already. You already knew, well, you had a good idea of the story. But it was neat to see the flashback and see the uh, what actually transpired. The, um, you know, the, the doppelganger thing is always one of those things. It's like, you know, uh, it's pushing reality a little bit, but, you know. That's okay. And with the most of her family dying, you know, it makes it, you know, a little more believable that no one really could tell the the, the difference 100%, you know, it was just soldiers and stuff like that and people who were only slightly acquainted with her. But yeah, the, uh, the, I always thought it was going to be a body double. Because then it would make sense, you know, for them to be 100% damn near identical. They would go out of the way to find someone to be a body double for that. But, you know, this works too. Man. They did a... Uh, a good job of making it really uh, sympathize with the princess and everything like that. And having to learn all that shit and do all that stuff, you know. And it was not, it definitely shows you that, you know, it was definitely not an easy life to transition into. <laughs> mm. Which is a play upon the expectations most people would have. But yeah, yeah, good episode, good episode. So, uh, you know, based on people's reactions um, in the episodes, you know, in the show itself, I'm guessing the green light that you see whenever she uses the Cavorite, um is for our effect only. Uh, no one else seems to really notice that. So, that's just kind of cool. I just thought about that. All right, well, this is Drunk and a Taco. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I shill for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon setup. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.